Hey y'all, quick review on Jurassic Park for Sega Genesis. So, 60 seconds for less on Jurassic Park. Ready, set, go. Jurassic Park originally for Genesis broke the mold by doing a side-scrolling game versus all the top-down games that were done for the time. Jurassic Park separated itself by being the first title to actually allow you to play as the Velociraptor. The difference between Grant and the Velociraptor is that the Velociraptor was much stronger, much more agile, and had more freedom to move around the screen. Unfortunately, though, the Velociraptor was not a precision character, so they would also throw you at jumps and stuff like that that were very difficult to make. As far as Grant goes, he'd get an arsenal of weapons, you could only use one gun at a time, and it was a pain in the butt because Grant was frail. He could easily be picked up by a pterodactyl, chomped by a T-Rex, or any other animal there could just tear you apart with relative ease. So it sucked playing as Grant, but hey, if you wanted a hard mode, there you go. Morally speaking, you got violence against dinosaurs, violence against humans, and of course gun usage, weapon usage, stuff like that. If you have any issues with those, you may want want your kids to play. This is Jurassic Park for Sega Genesis, and as always, Mole Gamer, MoleGamer.com. Like, subscribe, comment, share, check out Gameplay Channel, Review Channel, and links below, and we'll catch you next time.